Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here in Chapter 6, I believe, and we finished all the side quests last episode, and we did a single crystal. So, let this episode, let's just go ahead and finish the rest of the crystals, and then I think we have uh, the side quest to do our final job, or to receive our final job. Look, this crystal right. is so it looks like we have the same, same old dialogue. Let's just go ahead and uh, get it done here. Just got basically redoing the same ones over and over again. That's all right. There it goes. Easy. All right. Let's see if we get any new cutscenes this time. Hurry up and awaken the crystal, of course. Okay. Back to awakening the crystal. Hold. I'm ready, Ari. All right. I'm sure you. Okay. We're not gonna blow up the crystal. Yes. Not in this ending. I don't want to blow up the crystal. Wait. Can I ask you something, Airy? Now? We're about to start the Rate of Awakening. But what would happen if she continued to pray to the crystal even after you told her to... stop? How many times do I have to explain it? Haven't you been listening? The crystal would be destroyed if she didn't stop. And what happens if it's destroyed? What? That would be terrible! Mankind would no longer receive its blessings! Well, why can't we just do without its blessings? Wouldn't we get used to it? It's not a matter of getting used to it. I mean, without the crystals, we couldn't rid the world of darkness. It hasn't worked in two tries so far. I know, but that's not the issue here. Besides, if the crystals were destroyed, um, uh... The wind! It would cease forever, and fire would rage out of control! Water would turn putrid, and the earth would dry up! I see. Sorry for interrupting. <sighs> All right, Agnes. Let's try- Okay. I like it when they put new dialogue in here. So these, these last couple chapters can feel pretty boring if they don't add stuff like that. You know, a little bit of doubt creeping in. Okay, just keep keep pressing it. Not yet! Just a little longer! <laughs> and again, um, I've said this a couple times in each episode. I am going for the normal ending. I know I can do certain things to get different endings. Going. Not gonna do them right now. I at the end of the series I will show off those different endings. But just for now. For now, I, I didn't know what part of the dialogue I was at, but for now we're just going to do the normal ending. So we're going to awaken all the crystals to chapter 8. Stop! That's it! Then... It isn't a cure to rid the world of darkness. Ring a bell! <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, yes. Sorry about that. You sounded as though you were in terrible pain. No need to worry about me. I'm fine. I've been wondering about something, Ringabelle. Since we came to this world, I haven't snapped at you to stop talking once. <sighs> it was every third word from my mouth before. I... I... Hmm. Well, 
Airy didn't look too nice in that. Airy's temper. Ringabel, could I have a word with you? I can't have you doing that again. Uh, you mean asking questions before the Rite of Awakening? That's right, I need to focus before I begin. How can I, when you suddenly upset me like that? I upset you. I was merely asking what would happen if the crystals were destroyed. Or was it when I was asking why we can't do it without the blessings? Or was it when we said we failed to rid of the world of darkness or times already did I strike a nerve? Strike a nerve? What are you talking about? What nerve could have possibly struck? You're plain rude and annoying to boot. Alright, alright. I don't have to shout. I hear you loud and clear. You're not exactly helping my headache. And truth be told, Agnes is the one who really needs to concentrate during the right area, not you. Hmm, sure have a big mouth. I'm not done with you yet. You get back here, ring a bell. Okay. So, Aerie is... ...is anger. Alright, next crystal we go. I think... Is this the second one we did? So we got two other ones. Blue side quest? I want to go do that before I do the other ones. So let's go ahead to that. I don't know what that is. But I want to know what it is, so let's go to it. What? There's two ships. It's actually kind of funny. Why is there two ships? What on earth could that ship be doing? Oh, pardon me. Did you see something? Yes. A strange ship has been appearing in this harbor ever since the start of the war. It's a decrepit old sailing ship, and it always shows up on foggy nights. Has it tried to harm No, it's just an eerie sight. That's the ship. It's still prowling around. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll have to check on it during the night time then, no? Okay, so we still can go to it. Mm -hmm. Where did this fog come from? <gasps> it's heading for us! What do we do? Board it? Obviously. It's, a, it's the pirate! We already did this before. There's nobody on board. An actual... <laughs> are we just... Is this, is this the same thing again? How, why are they surprised about a ghost ship? We've already been on one. We've done this. Have you found what you were looking for? Hmm? What do you know of this? So you can read the hearts of men, Windvestor. Amazing. You have a second sight. Welcome to our pirate ship, the SS Funky Francisca. I am Captain Barbarossa. You must be the Wind Vester and her companion. How could I not know of the brave souls who defeated the Swordmaster Kami Izumi, my commander? I have looked forward to meeting you in battle one day. I leave the helm to you, me mate. Yeah. <laughs> I sail this ship in search of a certain something. It can only be found by this vessel. You might call it Advent. I know. Well, uh... Perhaps it is, but observe. That's it. Now. Same old dialogue. Okay, fair enough. Let's just go ahead and beat him real quick. And then we'll continue on with the crystals after we, after we beat him. We haven't even healed from the last fight, but I think we'll be alright. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do a heal real quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the normal three pressure points. Three pressure points. I'm gonna do a default. What is, what is, oh, I don't even have any mana. Okay, well then we just won't, we just won't attack with the Dia. No use, I guess. We'll defeat this guy pretty quick anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and do. Let's do two my heroes. Okay. Let's go ahead and get Tiz and Agnes up and running here. Oh, well, Ring of Bell's dead, but it's alright. We, we don't particularly need him here. We just finish off the fight super easy. 
Ringo Ball's kind of on the floor there, but it's all right. You and your allies have bested me, Windvestal. Such power. Forgive me. Okay. Is this the same old thing? We've already done this. Idea and the ghost ship. Tell me there's like more to this. Let's get out of here already. I've had enough of this creepy ghost ship. Yeah, and there aren't any women here either. Your womanizing is far beyond appalling that it's almost impressive. Anyas, you're not scared of ghosts, are you? Not at all, rather. I feel quite sorry for them. Life is a miraculous gift born of the harmony between the four crystals. And once a soul's life has come to an end, it may be reborn again by returning to the crystals. But ghosts, on the, first of all, our teachings tell us that. We're not really following all this, but does it go on much longer? Well, there are several beliefs as, as worded of the souls of the dead go, but according to the crystallist thought... I know this is a really important topic, but I'm sorry, I just can't take any more. Yes, it's a really important topic. Now, as it was I was saying... No, please, for the love of crystal, stop. Okay. I think that's... Okay, we're done as far as that goes. I was expecting something new in there. I don't know why he just told me to go do that side quest all of a sudden if they're not going to put anything new. Um, but fair enough, I guess. Here, so... Let's go ahead and grab this one. Genji gloves. Does that help? I don't think that helps anyone here. Uh, okay, so they help with defense. Well, we don't have anyone that can put them on, so... Maybe if I didn't have two monks with natural talent, we could put them on someone, but... Sadly, we don't. That's all we have. Let's see what we get. Genji Helm. Okay. That might be better for Adia here. Um, no, but what about for... Is this better for him? No, it actually isn't. Okay. Well, fair enough, I guess. Okay, we're on to the third crystal. I wonder if Ringy Bell's gonna pipe up this time. But before we go in there, let's go ahead and give it a quick save -a here. Or a heal -a Then a save -a Okay. Let's walk inside. This one should be an easy fight. What is this one, the, um... This crystal has also is this the... Which one? I forgot which enemy this is. Yes, it's this guy, the Gord whatever. I forgot what what his name was. Go ahead and default, default, default. They keep doing the same thing, just keep defaulting until he transforms and explodes. Okay, one more time. Energy burst. Okay, then we hit him with a couple pressure points here. Actually, you know what? I'm curious. How much does a normal attack do here? Can I do more damage just by normal attacking? I'm wasting two turns to do one. But how much can I do... Oh, let's heal with Ring of Bell. How much can I do by simply just attacking? I'm curious now. Dude, I can do 999 per turn. That would be even a lot better. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Um, what What is this guy? What are we here? Fire? So, Blizzard. I think that works. Okay, so... Mm, no. The pressure point is still more... Technically more damage. Because this is about 3k per turn, while that one does 5k per turn. So, okay. Lesson learned. So, not yet. See, well, if we do that... See, that's about 5k per turn there, too. So, if we critical, it's better. If we critical, it's better. But, hmm. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and do the same thing here. Maybe we can kill it in the first cycle. There we go. First cycle. Okay. Let's see. Is Ring a Bell going to pipe up to say anything this time? Hurry up and don't... Of course. Okay. Aries. Let's go get the crystal. I'm ready, Aries. Weirdo. I'm sure you have the hang of it. No, I'm not going to explode. Get started out. Yes. I'm not going to explode the crystal, bud. Don't worry. Wait. May I ask you something, Agnes? Ring a bell piping More up again. More questions? What are the crystals? Are they really born of the Vestals? Now's not the time for a lesson on crystal lore. I've never heard the full story either. I'd like to know. Let's save it for after we awaken. 
The crystals are not born of the Vestals, nor are they creations of the Orthodoxy. Vampire guy told us they this. They existed long before human civilization arose. They turn hopes and prayers into energy that builds up within them. The Vestals, then... Yes, I know that part. Ring a bell? You have that I'm in pain look again. If the crystals thrive by storing the prayers of the faithful, what were they before they were objects of worship? I cannot say. The scriptures say not of such a time. Do you know, Eri? The crystals have always been crystals. It's simply a matter of more and more people worshipping them. The Templars spoke on this. The crystals should be overseen by one who looks out for the good of the people, he said. Not some power-hungry cult that has rotted to its core. What exactly did he mean by that? Huh? What's he talking about? Someone care to fill me in? I fear I do not understand either. No, it's... Never mind. Apologies for interrupting. Okay. Eh? We awaken once again. What's a uh, Bernie Sanders meme where I am once again asking for your support? Airy going, I am once again asking for you to reawaken the crystal. I, it's funny in my head. Not yet! Just a little longer! Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Waking that stupid crystal. Still not enough. You can do this. I know I can do this. We've done this about 12 times already. Stop! That's it! No more. Or we explode crystal. We calm. More visions. I'm sorry. F forgive me. Sorry. She lives, but I failed to protect her. No! And after all this, we still trust Airy? Like, come on, bro. Can you hear me? Ring a bell. Come on, bro. Ring a bell. I'm sorry, everyone. I, I couldn't. Forgive me. What's going on here, bud? Feeling better, Ring a bell? Tis, I... I remember everything now. Do tell. Your memory is back? That's great news! I'm not so sure. But at least it all makes sense now. Will you... tell me? I am Alternus Dim, the Dark Knight. I spoke before of my suspicions that we'd been transported to a parallel world. I've been seeing more and more glimpses of the past these last few days. I remember crossing swords with you, Agnes and Idia, any number of times. And I've witnessed firsthand your death at the hands of a horrible creature. And it wasn't simply a dream? No, a memory from a parallel world, most likely. Do you remember when we first met in Caldisla? Uh, yes. In the world before last. And what did the pattern on Ares' wings look like then? It Ooh. looks like the number three now, but in the previous world, it was a four. Now that you mention it, how about the world before last? It was a five. I recall it clearly. It's... decreasing? In my memory of you three getting killed, the pattern looked like the number six. And that means... In short, 
I'm the Dark Knight from the world before your own. I see. The pieces are starting to fall into place. I don't want to believe it, but I think Eri really is. She's... I could only watch it happen. I couldn't do a thing. <laughs> Ring a bell. I have a favor to ask, Tiz. Please tell Agnes what I just revealed to you. Sometime, someplace where Eri isn't around. Will you do this for me? All right. Of course. Then you'll believe me. Hmm. Okay. Dang. A lot of truth all at once. The final temple. Listen, why don't we go speak with the sage first? The sage? Whatever for? Sounds like a good idea. To the sages. Um, what? Let's go do it. Okay. Party chat first. Adia's another food food thing for Adia, huh? Where's Ringabell? He's upon deck with Tiz. Something about having a man-to-man -man talk. I see. Ringabell has been acting strangely as of late, has he not? Suppose so. Yeah, he has. I wonder if something is wrong. Perhaps you remembered some unpleasant event from the past. An unpleasant event from the past? Is that why he's been giving me a hard time? Well, I won't stand for it. If he gets in our way again, we should kick him off the ship. Stop it, Aria. I don't see why you're making such a fuss. We're talking about one of our comrades, someone who had lost his memory and nearly his sanity too. Surely you could forgive. Adia, where are you going? To the proprietress. I'll be drowning my sorrow in parfait tonight and don't try to stop me. I can't believe it. Did you hear that, Agnes? Adia was so mean. Not really, but fair enough. Okay. Two. Over here we go. To the sage. Alright, let's sit. Let's go ahead and give it a quick saberu here. Okay. And then inside we go. I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear. And who might you be? I am Agnes Oblige, Vessel of the Wind. Ho oh, ho! Little Agnes, is it? We do this My, again. How you have grown, child. You were scarce more than a little sprout when... Now look at you. Okay. Fine and plump and... <laughs> pleasantly jiggly. Still perverted. Why the long face? Sage, do you remember... Hmm? <sighs> well, you'd better come inside. Okay, time for hopefully a new talk now. Now then. I was about to pour some tea for us, but I fear this may not be... Sit. Let me ask you this. If I made you come with just one other, would you know why? Indeed. Yes. Well, this is quite astonishing to think such events were even possible. Very well, then. I will spare you the details and keep this simple. You must decide who is your most trustworthy ally. Then travel to the nearby cave with them. You will find it to the southwest of here. I shall go on ahead. You must bring only... Okay, so we've done this before. Okay. So, I thought that was a fish. It's just a pig on the side there. Okay, like I said, we've done this before. Let's go ahead and walk around. Am I healed up right now? Okay, I think we're good. We're, we're healed up, which is nice. Oh, right. Look at this. So that's it, huh? You're just going to ignore me, Anya? Mm-hmm. It's no fair. Tis gets to have all the fun. I am sorry, Aerie. 
I hope you go on, get going already. Right. We'll be back. Give the master my. Right, let's go into the let's go into the cave. Let's get it. I want to see what's gonna happen this time. This is okay. All right, now we got a long little run ahead of us. Ooh, a blue chest. Yes. We haven't been here yet to collect it, so let's 100%. Let's go ahead and collect that. Also, just letting you know, I am currently recording in fear. Um, yeah, I'll tell you in a second why. Can I? Oh, I don't have my characters. Okay. It is currently thunderstorming outside, and I am absolutely terrified that the power is going to go out, and I'm going to lose this recording. Just letting y'all know. So... If this episode, if you are seeing this currently, that means everything went fine. If you are not seeing this, in which case, this wouldn't matter. My power didn't go out, and my recording file is not corrupt. Fair enough. So, if you're seeing this, I guess just don't worry about it. But, I am currently recording in fear. Because it's happened before. It actually has happened before. Um, oh, I guess I'll tell you guys a little story while I walk. Uh, my greatest YouTube sadness. Long story short, um, if you guys remember, I did a Star Wars Fallen Order playthrough. Um, I played the entire thing. Last 15 minutes of the game, power went out because my sister was using a blow dryer. I lost the entire save file. I played the entire game. I was on the last cutscene. And uh, my entire game went corrupt, couldn't get it back. I had to re record the entire game. Lightning, don't take out my power. Okay, let's go ahead and save. We got two monks with us. There you are. Ah. So this is the one you have chosen. I envy him. You make a fine pair. We've already I seen this. You're not ready to lay down and die yet. We know. Do you? And I'm the very image of the angel you encountered 1,880 years ago. Oh, I see. I've already spoken of such matters, have I? Indeed. Yeah. Now, tell me, why have you two come to me again? I wanted to be alone with Agnes. What? <laughs> you little <laughs> devil, you! That's cute. Huh? Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that! At least in the way I think you're thinking! Tis, was it? I thought you a lost cause, but it seems you've some fire inside you. <laughs> Look, she's blushing. Put the girl out of her misery with a big kiss on the lips. <laughs> Please, I'm trying to be serious here. Tell us. No, I'm telling you, I really didn't mean it like that. Then what did you mean? Ringabel regained his memory, and not just part of it this time. He did? When was this? Just a short time ago. I'm the only one he's told so far. But he wanted me to tell you something in private. Something he remembered. This is a real homie. In private? I did not think Ringabel to be the sort of man to mistrust his comrades. I believe he had his reasons. But what could he possibly remember that would warrant such secrecy? Well, go ahead and tell her, buddy. Before we get to that, I'd like to ask the sage about that angel he encountered. Of course. I will tell all that I know. Did the angel mention anything to you other than the crystals? Other than the crystals? Yes, I believe her words were, I was deceived by the evil one. 
Lightning. Her voice was heavy with regret. Evil one? Who's that? Oh no. The evil one? This evil one used deceit to drive the four crystals out of control. Hmm. That tore the barrier between worlds, she said, opening the way to the world beyond. <gasps> no! Was this a hypothetical future she saw? No. The angel and her two comrades had stood before that evil in battle that day. It was after her allies were slain that the creature boasted of what it would do. She spoke to me with lifeless eyes, drowned in tears. Uh, what then? As the angel faded before my eyes, she said to me, Deliver unto me this pendant when next I return to you. And should I appear before you with the evil one, hesitate not to do what you must to us. You speak of this pendant. And was this evil one the angel spoke of with us when we first came to you? Yes, I dare say so. Then... I could not do it. I could not, knowing I would have to slay you, Vestal, precious girl. I see. Then, to remove all doubt from the matter, I ask you now, this evil one, I wish to hear no more. What you mean? Oh, yes. I cannot bear to hear of matters so dreadful. For if what you say is true, then I... I've been the bad person this entire time. I never wish to put you in this position. But I cannot believe Ringabel would lie to me. Not about something like this. That's why... You trust Ringabel then? I do. Who wouldn't? I trust Ringabel. Along with Idea. And you too, Agnes. I trust you all. Very well. Then I shall trust in him too. Thank you. We ought to be returning to the others now, Sage. You be careful now. Ah, and before you go... Last class, let's get it. There is another matter. One Lord De Rosso and I have studied this last millennium. Were you aware that should a crystal be destroyed, it will eventually regenerate? No, we didn't. What? Truly? So long as its core remains, it can grow once more through the power of mortal hopes and dreams. The passing of thousands of years will see it grow to its original size and power. And this crystalline core you speak of? You need look no further than the pendant about your neck, my dear. What? This stone? <laughs> A rather fine gift, wouldn't you say? I'm so delighted to see you kept it safe. Sage! Now, I must leave you. But not without a word of advice. Have the courage to think and act on your own. He means and have explode the, the crystal. Courage to disobey. Not going to, because I want to get the normal ending, but I know what he's trying to say here. Okay. Item. Teleport stone. I don't feel like walking through the entire place here. Welcome back. That old fart hasn't filled 
of your head with strange thoughts, has... Uh, Airy, you... You needn't worry about me. He did me no harm. But I'm a Christ fairy, bound body and soul to the Vestals. Of course I worry. And yet, you've been pushing me away lately. Christ fairy or not, you've no right to interfere in another's love. What? Wait, what? Uh, hang on. What? So, Tiz, how was it? Mm. Couldn't have gone better. Couldn't have gone. What's going on between you two? Come on, Anyas, out with it. <laughs> <laughs> say no more, Tiz. No, do say more. What's going on here? Yes, inquiring minds want to know. Anyas and Tiz, are you two really? No, that's not. Yes, that's exactly it, isn't it, Anyas? You mustn't encourage them, Tiz. <laughs> this is great. Been some time since we've had any good news. Yeah, it is is Tiz is being smart. He's trying to keep Ari off the trail of them knowing. While Anya is like, no! Okay, let's go ahead and give it a quick save. And guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like in the comment, as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.